Speaking of Chinese and food, I want Chinese food so bad. I haven't had Chinese food in like so months. bad. Oh, whoop! Ah. Like fried rice chow mein sort of thing, or uh, yeah. are you thinking something more, uh, more exotic? I mean, no. I just want the basic shit because I'm a basic <laughs> ass bitch. <laughs> I'm so Fair enough. I I want my chicken chow mein and my fried rice and my beef and broccoli. That's my three safe things. And sometimes I'll get a spring roll. All standards. And sometimes I'll get a spring roll if I'm feeling daring. But for the most part, that's what <laughs> I stick with. I'll get a spring roll if I'm feeling daring. Listen, I know who I am. I'm a basic ass <laughs> bitch who doesn't like food. <laughs> You ever try squid? Yes. Oh, well, I've had calamari. No, I had the squid, the squid feet at the bubble place that's just outside Henderson. Mm, yeah, yeah. That was really good. Dude, I... <laughs> it's times like this when I'm talking about Coquitlam that I realize that technically, even though I speak English, I speak a subset of English called Coquitlam English. Where you know <laughs> what I'm talking about because we lived in Coquitlam, but if you were from anywhere else, you would be so lost. Yeah, because of, like, the stuff that's relevant to certain locations. Yeah. I... That's one for ad? Oh, yes, yeah. okay. Yawning. I should make coffee, but I don't want to. When you're doing the matching pairs exercises, do you, like, try to make sure that you pick one side and then go, like, top down for those? Uh, no. I usually pick the side that says it out loud and just pick mm. whichever one because I'm bad at recognizing the, ka the kanji, but I'm yeah. really good at recognizing the sound. Would make sense with your musical background. Yes. I should go make coffee, shouldn't I? Uh, I don't want to go into the kitchen. I, I'm still, uh, like, two-thirds of the way through. Because I'm still learning new shit, and I'm also keeping up the conversation. <laughs> oh, sweetie. You can just <laughs> mute me. <laughs> mute me till you're done. Nah, nah. I like your voice. How dare you. But I also... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you compliment me. <laughs> I was. I don't know what I expected you to say. I didn't expect you to compliment, so my brain just defaulted to fake offense. <laughs> I don't know why that's my default, but that's my default now. Resting bitch voice. <laughs> resting bitch voice. Resting depression face. <laughs> <laughs> what I should do instead of make coffee is I should make the iced shit that's like real gar like it's not good but it's there and I have it and I have to get rid of it before I get more madrinas it's not bad it's just um it's not good <laughs> it it's good if you don't mind stevia, but I hate stevia, so I don't like it very much. Also, what is Tara? Oh, boba! Madrina is selling oh. boba. Oh. I might have to get that when it comes out. Yeah, I'm learning Chinese, which is fun because it's all kanji. <laughs> yeah. I missed, uh, I missed wo there, which is, uh, like, I, me, or my. Ah, uh, do, well, do you like my coffee? You wouldn't know because, you know. Yeah. You've never had my <coughs> coffee. Not that my coffee is much different than anyone else's coffee. Yeah. 
I've just sort of decided from a very young age that I just don't like coffee. Which is, you know, delicate young palate would make you dislike it. And I would know because I fucking hated coffee as a kid. Yeah, but I'm also, like, scared to like it because a lot of people get addicted to it. It's really not that addictive. Like, people super overestimate it. Are you only showing- I don't want your fucking boba! I want to see all of it, you fuckers! I want to see all your shit, thank you. Last week I was distracted by, um... Syrups! <coughs> no, two weeks ago I was distracted by syrups. This week I'm distracted by Madrina's coffee. They have a lot of good shit here. Or at least it looks good. And most of, like, I've had their stuff and it's not bad, it's just the stevia aftertaste makes it worse. So anything that doesn't have stevia in it is my kind of shit. I want to try this Mississippi mud pie. Cause it makes that's me like a That's like a chocolate thing? Yeah. Cold brew Mississippi mud instant all natural cold brew coffee. It's a chocolate oh. lover's dream with a rich fuzzy chocolate, fudgy not fuzzy, in every delicious sip. This iconic dessert might look like the muddy banks of the Mississippi River, but our cold brew sure don't taste like it. There's no need to paddle up and down this mighty river to taste the best mud pie. Just shake it up at home. God, I want to try Mississippi mud. I want to try Mississippi mud pie so bad. Like, not even the fucking drink. I just genuinely want to have Mississippi mud pie. Apparently a lot of this people one, really like it. This one didn't feel like a sentence at first. Sometimes they like, don't. They feel weird. It's like, do you like your tea? Do you like, like your realize... tea? That is a but weird like... sentence. It is a sentence that, like, I have said as well in the past, but it's like, it doesn't feel like a sentence when I'm, like, trying to figure out what yeah. they're trying to say. Yeah, because it, it, in the context you're reading it, you're not thinking of it as in, like, do you like the tea that I have served you that is your tea? You think of it as, is do you like the tea that you have brewed for yourself? Which is a wild thing to ask a person. <laughs> But it's also, it's adding a bunch of vocab words at the same time as it's adding grammar words. And oh, yeah. those are all just muddling together here. At the beginning, it does that a lot. <sighs> While I'm waiting, I'm going to play some Ace Attorney music. <laughs> What's some good Ace Attorney music that's not Larry's theme? Because I don't want to overuse that. It's in my BRB screen. Um, uh, The Apollo... Apollo's theme? Apollo's objection theme? Yeah, I'm down. Yes. Dude, we're gonna fight. You're gonna hear the best theme in the fucking series soon, and I'm so excited. Like, oh god, I want it so bad. You have no idea. Oh my god, fine. Ace. Ace Attorney Objection 2007. Thank you. Man, if I fail this one, I'm gonna be so fucked. <laughs> When, a, when Apollo objected in the first case, the entire building shook. Ba 
I fucking love this theme. It's the best version of Objection because it's chill and it is so really good. This person. What the fuck did this person do? How dare you? Hang on. I'm putting this on the fucking stream. Wrong thing. Uh, this one. Look at this fucking shit. I don't know who made this, but it's not super good. Oh, that's so bad. I feel bad making fun of this person, but it's so bad. Sorry. I've seen 3D, like, 3D Christoph Gavin. I've seen it a couple times, but no one's ever managed to actually make him look good. <laughs> Which sucks. I just, I want more, th I want a 3D lad. I want my boy to be 3D. He'll never be 3D. I'm so sad. The three-dimensional Christoph Gavin. <laughs> the forbidden 3D Gavin. <laughs> they, they got, they got Clavier to look good in 3D and they only used him in one small microscopic section section of a case and yes I am still bitter about that <laughs> I'll never 34 keeps keeps make challenging them, they, me make the most of his models damn it 34 Pardon? keeps challenging me to write to rewrite games 5 and 6 I don't think he realizes that there's literally no way I can do that without completely retconning everything about 5 and 6 like, it's not going to be a rewrite. It's going to be basically just a fanfic of if 5 and 6 didn't exist. And, like, that's why I'm hesitant to write it, because it's, I don't need that in my life. You don't need to go that hard to, like, make your own version. Like, if I had to do that if like i had that, to with that much work you may as well just make your own like entirely separate game with your own ip exactly and it's like you know i don't object to it i like i don't object to the idea but i would rather just do it in bullet points rather than write a full fanfic on it yeah because that sounds like a nightmare also i speaking of own ip i feel bad because i haven't touched dong and romp in a while Mm, itchy, 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 itchy. Fuck me. Itchy fucking eh. Na 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 I unplugged my headphones. Shit. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Don't forget to stream your thing on Twitch. Ba -ba 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 uh, skip this version. Oh no. Huh? What up? I didn't know that Chris Polo is a fucking ship and now I'm angry. That shit. Ew, I keep forgetting how many people ship oh. Christoph and Phoenix. There's so many weird ships that I don't remember exist until I see them, and then I'm like, ugh. And it's less weird to me when, like, um... What's her name? When Zarla does it, because Zarla is... Um... Mostly taking it as a joke. But it's super weird when I see other people do it. It's super weird when you see people taking it seriously. Oh, yeah. That's loading. Uh, I want to fucking. 
I want to fucking just mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, mm. man. I mm. <laughs> I'm ex Nanny. so excited cuz my boy Na, 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 na. Won't hesitate to use false testimonies as forged evidence. Won't hesitate to commit murder for a good personal image. Genuinely thought they'd get away with their shit. I can't reflect their downfall. Had no reason to do anything. Had no real rayon, sorry, to do what they did. No traumatic backstory. No being black. What the fuck are you talking about? No traumatic backstory. Fuck you! What? Oh. Okay, I think um, I think the VTuber is waiting to like. I'm streaming now on Twitch. Uh, I think the VTuber is. Uh, do you have the output on? Uh, or... yeah, I do. Okay. But your thing is being weird. Dude, I'm actually pissed now. How actually bloody dare you insinuate that she isn't doesn't that Dahlia doesn't have a traumatic backstory? Like, I'll admit she may have had very like she had absolute reason to do what she did. Fucking that has to be hate bait. There's no way that anyone genuinely thinks that she doesn't have trauma. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, what? That is weird. Hold up. I hate the fact that I try to look up Kristoff and I get a bunch of ship shit. I don't want your shipping shit. I don't want your ship shit. Maybe I do need to update, uh... Maybe I do need to update OBS, one sec. Oh. <laughs> Phoenix Wright's bisexuality is not the male-female attraction spectrum, but the innocent defendant <laughs> versus evil defend. No! Stop it. Y'all are evil. Y'all are mean. Don't make fun of my fucking babes, okay? <laughs> uh, check for updates, I guess. No software update for stream elements. OBS had a thing when I opened it up that it's not showing me now. Mm -hmm. Settings. Her help. Check for updates. My hyperfixation is murder, and I'll be info dumping your body into a lake. Me too. I looked up Kristoff. Why am I getting so much Dahlia art? What the fuck is happening?
Dev, if you can't get it to work, that's fine. I can just use your yeah, I'm just YouTuber. I'm just logging in. I have to re-log in to Twitch. Now the verification code, because it logged me out of everything for some reason. Okay, let's try it now. Should be working now. Or, yeah, there we go. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Why can I suddenly hear that, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Christ, a cracker. That startled me. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. Wait, is it... Oh, is it playing through my, um... No, it's not. It's not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> It just startled me because it doesn't, on a server, it'll ask you to join, and then in the thing it didn't, so it was just like, fuck you. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that it, like, uh, that it just automatically starts playing for you. <laughs> God, it's so cold in my room. I don't want to put on a sweater, but I do. Uh... Put on the sweater. Want to, it'll Be ruin warm my, and cozy. It'll ruin my outfit. Then change into a different outfit. Fuck you! I look cute! I look good! I look you look cute in anything, that's not a problem. I did not! Oh, I Just be warm. Again, grabbing my fucking blanket, damn it. Alright, let's get going. Wait, unplugging your blanket? No, I was grabbing my blanket and I unplugged my headphones again. Oh, okay. Press the fucking load game button. <laughs> the faster we get to my phone, the better. Okay. I figured you'd want to, like, get ready and settle before we Oh, don't worry. The second started. I see him, I'm going to get all hot and bothered. <laughs> Sorry, let me bond myself for that one. <laughs> God, I'm excited. There's the weird-ass judge photo again. Staring into the sun and the stairs sun stares back at him. Huh? Mr. Wright's not here today. He said his old foot injury was acting up. <laughs> old injury? He was all smiles yesterday. Yes, he smiled when he said we'd be fine as long as you're there, Trucy. Yes, fine. We'll be fine. Here comes justice. Hang on. I started my voice training at five this morning. Buddy. Ooh, do something now I want to see. Uh, here. Huh? Oh, okay. I am. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> My name is Apollo Justice, and I'm fine. That sounds more like a self mantra than voice training. Oh, that's, uh, Wookiee. That's- I'm fine, I'm fine! You know what I'm saying! I forgot that was the voice you gave him. Sup, fucker! Sup, Wesley! Uh, good morning. Yo, sup! 
Hit me with that guilty verdict, G. See if I care. You just hang loose and let things go with the flow, you know what I'm saying? I love you. <laughs> uh, not really? Bulky, don't be running your mouth like that in here. See, that's the difference between me and you, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. I'm sure this is not the voice that I gave him before, but I don't, I don't remember, remember what voice I did give him. I don't remember, and I like this one more. <laughs> Real G's keep it real till they spend some hard time in the pen! God damn it. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Sounds like they've both been voice training too, Apollo! I had to turn the game down a little bit because damn it was loud. My worst fears realized. The trial's starting and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. He's just shadow boxing like a certain detective we uh, I've read about in books. <laughs> Lucky is a Herlock fan, confirmed. Look at this bitch ass. <laughs> Look at his ass bobbing up and down. I love him. <coughs> Wait, my computer is like tilted to the side, which is why it looks like I'm... How did you get from defendant lobby number two to courtroom number four? What happened? Why are there only two defendant lobbies? Why does my VTuber say that I'm looking over to the side? What? Uh, are you looking at a different monitor? No. I'm then looking directly at the webcam. Look, uh, open VTuber and just hit R. Oh, okay. I must have been looking at the side when I, um, started it. There's a massive delay between when, what your character does and what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's going through, uh, it's going through my OB, sorry, it's going through my webcam to the VC face, through OBS, through Twitch, uh, and then into your Twitch. Yeah. At the same time as it's trying to send the video through Discord. Hey, your computer's gonna die doing that. <laughs> We're only playing Ace Attorney, it's fine. It's We're not like I'm playing fucking Cyberpunk or anything. We're going down place of glory. <laughs> <laughs> you can voice the judge this time, by the way. I have Trucy now, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Court is now in session for the trial of Waki Kitaki. The defense is ready, your honor. Ah, uh, there he is! Fuck yeah! Look at the fucking- Oh, I love you. I love you. Hi. Oh, dude. Uh, fucking yes. I'm gonna make a compilation of these two. <laughs> yeah, you fucking better. There's gonna be more of them. <laughs> he shows up more than Dahlia, so I'm probably gonna do it more often. <laughs> Ready to rock and roll, Judge? Head Judge. Ah! It's him! The pr guy from yesterday! He's a prosecutor? It's Mr. Gavin's brother. Long time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? Fucking sexy man. You know that little band I started in my free time? Thing is, it got real popular. Hard to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, ja? It's just ya. Yeah. I see. To be honest, I was a little concerned. I feared that you might be still distraught over that one trial. Fuck you in that one fucking trial. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Not to worry here, Judge. I wouldn't miss this day in court for the world. Why, though? It's worth even more than the VIP passes to one of my concerts, yeah? Fuck. Look at that fucking face and his fucking grin, and I'm just a... Fuck, I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who bested my brother? It was worth canceling a show or two. Understood. You may give your opening statements to the court. I feel like my, uh, my voice for the judge is being influenced by the anime now. It's fair. Before that, I was thinking. 
Is the air in this courtroom not a bit serious? Oh, come on, come it on. It is a court of law. Do it, 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 do it. That's no way to get the uh, that's no way to get the crowd jumping here, Judge. They're not supposed to jump. This is a courtroom. You can't jump in here. This is the courtroom. Yes, there it is! How do I pronounce that word? Aktong. Aktong, baby. Today we play it my way. What's that noise? Fuck you. Sometimes you have to get up in order. Uh, sometimes you have to get on up in order to get down to prosecuting. This is crazy. The victim, Pal Maractis, director of the oh, Maractis Clinic. Sorry. <laughs> Go. This man is melting. Which man? Maractis? Maractis, yes. It does look like he's melting a little bit. He's chocolate ice cream. He looks he looks like uh Kane Bullard, but just droopier. S droopier and skinnier. <laughs> he looks like the if scene, Kane Bullard and uh Robert Hammond had a baby. The scene, People Park. He was found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world was a doctor doing pulling a noodle stand? Yes, I believe. You will only find that out by asking the defendant. Right here, right now. Because it's an undeniable truth that he shot the victim. What do you mean, undeniable? If you are to glare at anyone, Air Judge, Glare at the punk in the defendant's chair. His crime was witnessed. Quite clearly, you see. Very well. Please admit this witness to the court. Ah! Ah! Nine, not yet. First, there's a little matter to be cleaned up. Could you talk without the accompaniment? Fuck you! <laughs> I swear I could see the guitar for a second! Oh, I need... I need a screen cap right now. Oh. What are you screen capping? What are you screen capping? I'll put it in step for VC. <laughs> oh no. Ah. <laughs> How can I can I help it? He's the best. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Air Judge. Why did the little punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the Marex Clinic? Objection! Not so fast. The defendant doesn't have to explain that. Oh. But what if the defendant specifically requests to do so, as he did this morning? I want to give a shout out to all my homies, I believe he said. Jesus Christ. Moron. I love Walkie, but he's such a moron. Yeah, like he doesn't have to testify. He, that, like, they can't make him testify if he doesn't want to, but he's just like yeah, going I'd... out of his way to do it he's anyway. Like, yeah, I did it, and I'll do it again. This is Bitch. why Waki is so good. What? What is right? They always say that on stage you should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. Sounds like he got you too, huh? It sounds like he got you good, huh, Polly? Well, this is highly unusual, but the court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. What about fucking Emma? <laughs> Isn't she supposed to come up first? Yeah, the detective. So, you son of the defect- uh, You son of the defendant. Walkie, are you? Hey, you son, old man! 
You step to uh, you step to a katak, you best be prepared to step strong. You know what I just realized is your voice for Walkie sounds a lot like my voice for Larry. No, 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 no. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like your voice for um Victor. Except better. Victor. Kudo. The dude with yes. the fucking yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it it's though. Like, it's like uh young hick. Young hick, yes. Actually no, what when I do it for Victor it's supposed to sound more like a hick. When I do it for him it's supposed to sound, sound like, like someone who's like trying to pretend yeah. to be gangsta. Look yeah, at yeah. Clavier! He's not taking any of this shit. Fuck, I love him so much. Him and his fucking beautiful fucking blonde fucking hair. Fuck. And his I I'm, want I'm just staring at it. I'm just staring at his comeback right now. <laughs> I unironically want his jacket. Like that is the most gorgeous purple jacket I've ever seen. I want it so bad. Right? I've been looking for one that's similar. Uh, God, I love it. But him. like, I can't find it anywhere. I love him so much. Like not like even before I was looking to. Sorry, not even like related to a Kristoff cosplay. Just because I want a jacket like that. That's fair. Not that you could use that for a Kristoff cosplay, anyways. Why not? Because it's not Kristoff who wears that. Sorry, Clavier. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> it took you a second. Wait, do they not wear the... No, Kristoff's is more blue. Yeah, Kristoff's is like a deep blue. Like an ivory blue. And then this dude's got lilac purple. Mm. You step to a public official, you best be prepared to step into jail. That's a great comeback, though. You gotta hand it to him, Walkie sure has guts. It's not his guts I'm worried about. Well, actually I am, because they're about to be spilled on the courtroom floor. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're gonna fuck Walkie up. Well then, the court will now hear the defendant's uh, testimony on the defendant's motive. From the defendant himself. All right, you bitch. Let's do this. Look at him. I'll tell you one thing. That doctor was a quacker. Someone had to show him what's what. I was in his clinic about a half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later. Bye. So I gotta go in, get another doc to patch me up again. That was the day I dumb figured it out. No OG's gonna let that pass. That's why I went to his pad that night. You know what I'm saying? You're saying you are one of the victim's patients. A lot of stuff goes down when you're keeping it real on the street. True that. God, fuck you. <laughs> I tell you one thing, that doc was whack. Hmm, very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all of this. Oh, walkie. I'll tell you one thing, that doctor was a quacker. Hold it! First of all, the word you're looking for is quack. And isn't that a little harsh? He is your family doctor. Ah! Uh. <laughs> who asks you, pointy locks? Just who do you think you are? Uh, your lawyer? Look, I ain't trying to hear that. He was a quacker, plain and simple. It's quack, you quack! God! Someone had to show him what's what. Hold it! Uh... By someone, you mean... Was there anyone with a score to settle with this doctor? Besides you, I mean. You better ask somebody else, Holmes. What do I care? I made up my own mind and I did what I... I did what had to be done, straight gangster style. But why were you so mad at this doctor? You know, sit back and listen while I drop it, J-Man. 
I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my app something bad. So you were a patient at the Maractus Clinic half a year ago. For what reason? How what you might call a mock of honor. Can you explain precisely what was wrong? We had a little run-in with the Ra Ravala's family. That's when I pulled the jack move. And got shot and ran into an ambush. G-busted uh, a cat right in front of me. According to my sources, you couldn't stand the stress of waiting. And ran in 15 minutes before the appointed time, by yourself. Hey, I was more than a match for those guys. So you were carried to the Maractus Clinic from there. Apparently, he was shot in the heart. Shot through the heart! Shot and in the heart, to blame. and he's to blame. Darling, you give Kitaki's a bad name. And he's still alive? <laughs> I can catch bullets between my teeth! You so can't. But I never learned how to catch him with my heart! That's not an art you want to put your heart into, Trucy. <laughs> the bullet stopped just short of my thumb, but you know what I'm saying? I would have been golden if it weren't for that whack doc. Can't even take out a stupid bullet. So as you say, the surgery was a failure. That ain't all of it, Holmes. And then he just lets me go without a word. See you later, bye. What do you mean he just let you go without a word? What do you think it means? It's whack, that's what. I'm not sure what it means, but it sounds bad. It sounds as though Air Doctor wished to hide his mistake. This is why he let the defendant go. He's a liar, straight up. He's a badder G than me. So I gotta go in to get another doc to patch me up again. So this bullet is still... You know it. I can still feel it. Right there in my chest, pressing up against my heart. Your words are like a bullet shot straight into my heart. Or something to that effect? Incidentally, that's from one of our hit singles. Well, that sounds like a straightforward case of malpractice. Where, J-Man? Weren't no accident, that's for shizzle. Hmm, it seems there were issues with this doctor. Man, putting him down was like doing the world a favor. Walkie, please consult your lawyer before saying things like that. Chin up, Apollo, back straight! But why did this mistake only come to light that day? It was found during the family health checkup. The family checkup? That was the wackest thing of all. All us G's lining up, taking eye exams and all that. Better to die young than fade away. Bizoy! Fuck me. Is that gonna be his catchphrase? I think so. I don't remember, man. I fucking love and <laughs> hate him at the same time. He's a moron, but he's my moron. <laughs> a relief to hear. Eh? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart. If not attended to immediately... It could kill you. What? Yes, Air Doctor Maractus had knowledge concerning this ticking time bomb in you. Knowledge that could have saved your life. No way! That that's whacked. There is proof. It's report. 
I forgot her bloomers were in your face. <laughs> How ironic you would kill the one man capable of helping you. You're almost as careless as he was. That's just <laughs> Dick! <laughs> I love him so much. Well, now that the place is hopping, let's get this gig started. Started? But court is already in session. You've had a warm up act, yeah? Time for them to time to hear from the witness. Walkie sure is quiet all of a sudden. I'm a little uneasy myself. Is this Gavin's strategy? To be a bitch, kinda. <laughs> oh god! So, why the long face? Oh. He'll tell us your name and occupation. Should I, uh, should I voice him? Cause you're already doing voices and I don't want to put you through voicing this dick. I hate him so much. Um, Up to you. <laughs> My name is Wesley Stickler. By occupation, I take it you refer to some labor that profits society at large and supports a livelihood under which to finish, and I must confess to being unemployed. However, we must acknowledge the meaning of identity, which is commonly attached to this notion of occupation, and once we have accepted this reality, we see that our confusion is not just salt, per se, but derives instead from the vagueness inherent in all representations of thought. Which means... Which, by which he means to say that he is a student. I, I'm gonna be real, I'm kind of surprised I was able to read all of that. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> Thank you for the college thesis, Mr. Longface. <sighs> Yo, uh... I recently saw a video, uh, I'll send it to you after- I'll send it to you after this. <laughs> And it's, it, it reminds me so much of this monologue. Oh, good. <laughs> A junior at Ivy University, if I'm not mistaken. Repping Ivy U! Is this fucking <laughs> asshole? Yes, in the Department of Science and Engineering. Filled with curiosity for all things, I spend my days in the pursuit of truth, honing my... Mr. Stickler, please direct said curiosity to the case at hand today. Very well, Mr. Stickler. Please testify to the court about what you saw the night of the crime. You ask quite simplistically what I saw. However, we must understand that Homo sapiens possess two eyes, each of them designed to receive and interpret data, sending images in the form of signals to the... Okay. <laughs> Fuck, I hate this guy so much. <laughs> that night, I passed through the park on my way home from shopping when I saw them. One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. I saw them quite clearly. The man facing the victim was the defendant. In his hand, he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at a man pulling the stand. A shot! The bullet hit the man pulling straight, pulling the stand from the front square in the forehead. I'm trying to channel the, the box from the Island of Misfit Toys. Nobody wants a Charlie in the box. That's why I am a misfit toy. Feel the deals, Warlock. <coughs> you thought you were safe and you went to take a drink? <laughs> Let me get 
some water. Holy fuck, that was out of left field. It sounds just like it. It does, I hate it. <laughs> it's me, Garfield, the Wesley Stickler. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> That rules. Hmm, was there anyone else in the park at the time? I can say with 100% accuracy that there was not. The pistol our witness refers to is this. It's a magnum! The court accepts this into evidence. Don't forget to check everything. Weapon left at the crime scene. Two rounds were fired. Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine the witness. Let me cross-examine this shit first. <laughs> so, two, fire two shots were fired, and the fingerprints were wiped. Let me check the magazine. You can't, I don't think. I don't remember oh. what you can check on this thing. I think you can check the barrel? I don't remember. Yes, point the gun straight at myself. That's, That's handy. Honestly, something I think that Apollo would do if he didn't have gun safety. Whoa, don't point that oh, thing at Trucy's me. Oh, Trucy's pointing it. Don't worry, I can handle myself around guns. That's a terrifying sentence. Magic guns, at least. The ones that pigeons come out of. Very reassuring. This one has bullets, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, safety. I don't nope. know if you can actually... I guess you can't investigate anything on it. Huh. huh. I want... I like that this, by the way, is the exact same gun that's used in Kiseke, so I could straight up just give Walkie a gun. Although, I don't know if the Walkie code still works. There's a code... Man, I really wish I could check the magazine here. Why? Just to like confirm that there's two bullets. I mean, the text says it, but why is it? It's just you know a quality of life thing. Hang on, I'll get the stream back on properly in a sec. I just want to see if this works. Where is he? There he is. What's going on with the stream? Uh, I broke it. It's fine. I fixed it. Okay. Metallic object found near the heart. Urgent exam needed. Yeah, it's the bullet inside of him. Hello? What's the date right now? Uh, don't remember. Out in the Indian Ocean somewhere, there's a former talk show host. Huh? Look at this, Apollo! Mr. Aldoon spelled his name backwards on this side. <laughs> um, I think that says noodle. As in Aldoon's noodles. Huh. Oh, I get it! I totally read your line there, whoops! So it's, it works when she says it too. So the name of the story is the same whether you read it forwards or backwards. Yeah, I guess it would be. Well, except for the last S. Then how about a store called Team Meat? Oh, gross. <laughs> I don't know why I hate that. Uh, close, but that would be Tam Mate backwards. And what kind of store is that? Why, a store that sells meat! It's not meat unless it's team meat! <laughs> Trucy's great. I do love me some Trucy. I think that's the only thing I can check on there. My thinking is that. The reason that he had to like use the noodle stand is because there's something inside there that we weren't able to check before. Maybe. Like mm -hmm. 
Like, I think he's hiding a body or some shit in there. Oh. No one tell him. These bloomers sure have a distinct design. You certainly know what uh, you certainly know who they belong to at a glance. That way she doesn't have to write her name on them. What is she, a nerd from the 90s? Genius! I would think writing your name would be easier than drawing a plum blossom. I really hate her bloomers. Is Dev reading the chat? Uh, are, do you have chat open, Dev? If not, uh, I, if not, I think Nice says don't open chat because I might he might talk spoilers. Uh, yes, I am reading the chat from time to time, but I can turn it off if you like. No, nah, it's fine. I have my stress taco, and it's making me feel good because I'm just squishy, squishy, squishy. And <laughs> the Indian Ocean somewhere. You can DM it to me, Nai. Lives the former talk show host. Far so the defendant's prints are on this knife. That would mean he was here the night of the crime. That's what I call irrefutable scientific evidence. Neat. Not so neat when it happens to be evidence against our client. It's not wrong. Lives the former talk show host. Far and wide his name was known. He said there's no doubt about it. It was the myth of fingerprints. Wait. That's why we oh, must okay. learn to live alone. Very well, Mr. Justice, you may cross-examine the witness. After looking at your evidence for 20 minutes. <laughs> No, I'm sorry, that's mean. <laughs> I do want you to do what you just did because I'm really happy you did that. I just like making fun of the judge. Because cause <laughs> for us, time is paused, but I like to imagine he says that and Mr. and he just sees Apollo just being like, hang on, I have to get my shit. That wasn't paper. I could have done better than that. It's like I have to take my pencil box out of my backpack. <laughs> God damn it. My fucking notepad pads are right next to me. Uh, this, it, like, this brings me back to, like, elementary school, where, uh, I would have, like, a, a pencil box that had, like, uh, not only a bunch of different, like, colored pencils, but it also had, like, my eraser and my, like, ruler and shit, and then if I dropped it, then there would be a big crack along the bottom of it, oh. um, because I wasn't using a fabric one back then. Oh, yeah, you used, like, the blue and clear plastic ones. Yeah. That's the shit right there. Classic early 2000s. Hell yes it was. We had like six of those back home. <laughs> I don't know why we had six of them, but we did. I still have mine somewhere in the house. Oh, I, I, I know uh, I have like, at least... All the pencil crayons are broken. I know I have at least one in my desk. Yes, Your Honor. I've rifled through my evidence enough. Uh, Trucy, why are you staring like that at the witness? That man. I can't help but feel I've seen him somewhere before. Is he the bloomer thief? God damn it. <laughs> oh, it's so much... It's Yes, but it's also so much worse than that. I'm just gonna tell you yes, and that's part of why I fucking hate him. He's so awful. Look at this fucking- <laughs> look at his face! I hate him with a fire- I hate him with the power of a thousand suns. Oh, fuck. I think it's- I don't hate his face, because obviously it's like background character syndrome, right? It's oh, not sorry, background secondary character, character syndrome. <laughs> secondary character syndrome, but, um- like, just his personality. He's awful and ugly, and I want to break his face. That night, I passed through the park on my way home from shopping when I saw them. Hold it! 
On the way home from shopping, you say? Why go through the park? Oh, a fascinating inquiry. Revealing me culpable of insufficiently verbose. Let us consider the time saved by passing through the park on the way home from the store. That, in, in that time, I am capable of solving two GMAT problem sets. On average, it requires me 3 minutes 24 seconds to complete one such set. Ergo, the time to complete two is on average 6 minutes 48 seconds. However, in the case that the question are the verbal category, admittedly not. That's enough. Enough. I get the idea. You wrote a college thesis. Mr. Justice, the court hopes to finish cross-examination sometime this month. Please, I have a recording booked after this trial. And I got a show to perform! <laughs> this is really not Apollo's fault. Gee, sorry you're all so busy. <laughs> I love Apollo so much. <laughs> One man pulling a stand, another man facing him. Were these men talking by any chance? Oh, now that you mention it, they were. I, though I cannot claim I heard them clearly. What were you saying? I don't remember. <laughs> Only fragments such as you lied to me. Oh, and... I'm gonna give you a taste of your own medicine, pal. Come shoot. <laughs> it's just as our defendant claims. Gumshoe committed murder. Gumshoe's the only one I know who says pal. <laughs> I believe you wish to teach the victim what it felt like to take a bullet in the heart. If that's true, then this is a vital piece of testimony. <laughs> Sounds like you heard them clearly enough to me. to amend my testimony. You know what? This guy looks like he'd be related to Jacques Armstrong. Yeah. To be precise, he did not say pal, but man. Fucking... Okay, so that, that rules out gumshoe. I hate you. Yes, that was the way of it. I heard it. I swear it on my diploma. I fucking... I am going to stab your stupid looking eyeballs with a fucking pitchfork. What's the difference? Thank you, Apollo. You know, Clover, it is very crucial information that he said man and not pal, for you see, the fact that he said, uh, the fact that he did not say pal means that Gumshoe is incapable of committing this crime. Therefore, we have, uh, Thank, thank you, Mr. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mr. College Thesis. <laughs> and this other man, who was he? I saw them quite clearly. A man facing the victim was the defendant. Hold it! How can you be sure it was the defendant? The crime took place at night. It would have been too dark. I was remiss not mentioning this earlier. Huh? You see, in class I always sit in the very backmost seat. Do you know why? Who cares? Excuse me. Because I do not wish anyone to copy my perfect notes. And this relates to your testimony, how? I mention this to illustrate my predisposition to that which is perfect. 
It was dark, you say, yet there are lights in the park. If I say the defendant was in the park that night, then he was in the park that night. It is hard, immutable fact. He sure is confident. He seems to be telling the truth, too. <sighs> Same, Apollo. In his hand, he held, yes, a pistol. It was pointed at the man pulling the stand. Hold it! Are you sure the pistol you saw is the same as the one just submitted as evidence? Am I sure? Surely you jest. Oh, so a common witness would be tempted to say. Huh? Yet I am no common witness. I see not only events as they are, but the logical structures governing these events. First, we must consider the fact that it was night in the park, which indeed restricted my field of vision due to insufficient levels of illumination. Now, if we consider that the pistol, let us call it Object A, was indeed shrouded in darkness, it becomes difficult to say with certainty that Object A was indeed Object A. I think he means he couldn't see it that clearly. My badge for a normal witness. Again, with the right, no way. <laughs> Yet the <laughs> fact that the pistol was fired before my eyes is indisputable. I can still see it when I close my eyes. The defendant raised his weapon. A shot! The bullet hit the man putting a stand in the square in the forehead. Hold it! Are you absolutely certain only one shot was fired? Yes! Of course it was one shot! Why do you ask? Aha! A contradiction! Finally! Mr. Stickler, according to the court record, the pistol was fired twice. Objection! A clear contradiction. Good eyes there, Justice. You're cool, real cool. I love you. <laughs> you really think so? I ship Even it. Even Apollo is blushing. I Even ship Apollo's it. Even Apollo is blushing. <laughs> Yet there is no reason why this other shot had to have been fired that night. Meaning? This pistol came from the Kitaki family mansion, yeah? I think it's not unreasonable to assume that this pistol had been fired once before that night. During, perhaps, another altercation? Uh, he's got a point. Judging from his smug expression... I'd say Prosecutor Gavin had that answer ready before you even spotted the problem. Seems pretty confident in his testimony. We always make the biggest mistakes when we're at our most confident. He's got a weak point somewhere, Apollo. Find it. Right. Better give that testimony another listen. I can reveal. I'm pretty, I sure I I'm pretty sure I know what it is. That's good, because I don't. Oh, he did give an autopsy report, didn't he? Yep. No, 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 no. Because the checkup oh, is from. Right. It would be the. It would be the autopsy. Yeah. Oh wait. So the contradiction that I want to prove, though, is what he said. Uh, is what he said. The guy said, uh, which is, I'll give you a taste of your own medicine, when, uh, he. When Walkie was shot in the like next to the heart, whereas this guy was shot in the head. 
I mean, I don't think that's the contradiction, really, because I don't think Waki gives a fuck about getting it direct. I think he just wanted to kill him. But I yeah, do, I, I feel I, like that. I feel like this guy is that. Uh, I feel like this uh, witness is probably more the type to do that. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh fuck, I hate Stickler. <laughs> but it, but it is this because. There's, I just, in forehead. Stickler is the grossest character in the games. I would say that there's only one really? character who's, not in the whole series, I'd say, I'd say he's the grossest character in this one. But there is another character that could also hold that title. I Hottie just, is right there in the first ch in the first part of Hottie the investigation. Hottie doesn't count, he's there for two seconds, he's more important in Justice for All. I've actually Sparks, that was his name. Yeah, there's only one character I would argue could potentially be weirder than Stickler, but even I don't have that big of an issue with him. I think people really dislike him for meh reasons. What do you mean meh reasons? I mean he's weird, but like he's not the worst thing he could be. Phew, if that's all of it, I think I have a chance. Is that you relaxing, I see, Air Justice? Huh? Oh, uh... Ahem. OBJECTION! Once is quite enough, Mr. Justice. Apollo, pace yourself! The trial's not over yet! Ah! Uh, right. <laughs> um... Look at this. The autopsy report. Is there a problem with the autopsy report? Uh, right, a problem. Problem, problem, problem. Apollo! Yes. The problem is that the location of the entry wound. Apollo the location. is- Apollo's too flustered by the fact that his boyfriend is across the hall. <laughs> <laughs> You testified that the killer shot the victim square in the forehead, did you not? I've already determined your angle of inquiry. Allow me to explain. It is quite simple, really. First, understand that when I say square, I speak not of geometrical absolute. What I'm, do I mean by this, for example? The defection of a meter is, I'm not saying that, the wavelength of light emitted by Krypton particle, as we all know. In addition, it is well-known fact that Krypton particle is a rare to the invisible naked, to the naked eye, which points a fallacy in your line of reasoning, namely, that when... Mr. Justice... Yes? Was your objection to these, uh, Krypton particle things? This is the big- this is the big time and you are obsessed with something so small. You disappoint me. Ah, god I love him! No, I'm obsessed with something big. I mean, there's a bigger, less nitpicky problem here. Do tell! Just looking at the autopsy report. The location of the entry wound was the right temple. Temple? Sorry, my bad. I stole your line. <laughs> How Mr. dare Stickler. you? Let's strike a deal, for I am Garfield, the deal's, the deal's warlock. warlock. Mr. Stickler, you Dude. said quite clearly that the victim was shot... Hmm? Sorry, I just thought, what if, you know how Taco was, like, accused of murdering, like, an entire village? Yeah. What if, like, fucking someone made an Ace Attorney case where they proved him innocent instead of how he was proven innocent in balance? Like, Yo, that would be rad. I kind of want to do that now. Oh, fuck, that'd be so good. <laughs> Objection. Lol. Here we come. Fuck yeah! Sorry, I totally, I totally didn't mean to interrupt. Mr. Stickler, you said quite clearly that the victim was shot square in the forehead. That's a contradiction, isn't it? It. I mean, yeah. 
That ending was pretty weak, Apollo. You got work to do. It is, right. Finally. Objection! Objection! My boy! Air Justice. Oh, Air Justice. Yes? Your tactics are outdated, trying to shake the witness by objecting to trifles. Surely you haven't forgotten the fatal wound your master suffered seven years ago. Phoenix Wright, was it? Look, I know the room wound was in the wrong place according to this testimony. I made the sound, Discord just cut it out. Yeah, I'm just looking at the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> they are a little hypnotizing. They've got like little centipedes. I hate it. I hate that. <laughs> hey, air forehead. Forehead? Let us imagine you're walking through the park. Hypothetically speaking, for the sake of argument, you see two men facing each other, one with a pistol one with the pistol train on the other. What would you do, Air Forehead? Well, I... I guess... I would try to stop them. I'd probably shout, STOP! And you, Fraulein. Me? Well, I'd probably scream, EEK! And you, Air Stickler. What did you shout, I wonder? victim turned his head at the last moment. Ah, oh, yes. Thank you for jogging my memory. It sounds like an addendum to the... Uh, it sounds like an addendum to the testimony is required. Oh, God. As soon as Killer raised his pistol. I took action. Cease this at once, you two, I cried. With composure. The victim turned in the direction of my voice and shot rang out. Whereupon our cowardly killer, the defendant, appeared to have become frightened. Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. Hold on. I see. So you attempted to stop the crime. Where was this found? It was after the crime scene. Okay. Indeed. With composure. Well, maybe the criminal wouldn't have fired if he hadn't shouted like that. That really matter now, unfortunately. Let us consider this new testimony, shall we? Observe the diagram, if you would. The witness, Mr. Stickler, was it? Stood here. He shouted, Oh, stop, please, or something of the nature. And the victim responded by looking in the witness witness's direction. If the killer were to have fired at just that moment, as we can see, the bullet would have struck in the right temple, as in the report. That does seem to be the case. Witness the power of a fully operational junior of the Ivy University Department of Science. Very well, Mr. Justice. You may cross-examine the witness. Look at this fucking cock. As soon as the killer raised his pistol, I took action. Hold it! Hang on, I'm taking off my fucking comfy. It's too cold, too hot in here now. Temperatures are fluctuating all over the place. My fucking house sucks. <laughs> 
It's because my my room has really shitty ventilation. So I have to have the window open when the door is shut. And I have to have the door shut when I'm streaming because I don't want to be too loud for Usha's sake. But fucking... Like, if I do that, then the house gets cold because the cold air comes from the bottom of my door. And so the fucking heater never turns off. Yeah, so it just stays too hot or too cold for very long periods of time. Yeah. So you saw a raised pistol, weren't you frightened? What can it be said that we students of Ivy University know no fear? The moment I saw that pistol, my inner sense of justice compelled me to take action. That was certainly brave of you. You might have gotten shot. Uh, uh? You certainly were lucky. If I were in the killer's shoes, I certainly wouldn't have left a witness behind. I love Clavier. <laughs> he actually looks like he had no idea he was in danger. Regardless, I attempted to halt the bloodshed. Cease this at once, you two. I cried with composure. Hold it! Are you sure both men were able to hear your voice? They were, of course. My high, exquisite voice echoed through the park. And the victim responded to that clarion call. Quite. The victim turned to the direction of my voice, and a shot rang out. Did you hear the gunshot at the same time as the victim turned? Indeed. I would say a the same time, to be precise. And the victim didn't ask you for help. It can be said that he didn't have time to ask. He didn't even have time to take a single step. I'm totally sure that the killer fired because Mr. Stickler startled him. Don't say that too loud, Trucy, please. Upon our cowardly killer, the defendant appeared to have become frightened. Hold it! Can you describe the killer's actions more clearly? He seemed quite surprised, especially considering that it was he who did the deed. As we see, human psychology is a tangled web indeed. He simply couldn't believe what he had done. He shot, he panicked, a common tale, but true. Unfortunately, before I could take further action... Tossing the pistol aside, he fled from the scene. Hold it! He didn't try to apprehend the criminal? so fast, I'm afraid I hadn't the time. Doesn't something about that strike you as odd, Apollo? What? The killer was in a hurry, right? He fired the pistol and tossed it right away. According to the testimony, that's what happened, yes. In that case, I expect to find something that we didn't find. Find something... find what? I liked that contradiction. Kinda sad to see it go. Not as sad as I feel. What do we do now? Well, at least the testimony's getting a little clearer. She's right. Maybe I can find something to use in this new testimony. I'll be right back. I have to pee. Ooh. That's all good. I'ma check the evidence.
Pretty sure it's this, because the fingerprints were wiped. for Clover to get back though in case this guy starts just yapping again. Pretty sure it's the gun, but it could be the knife as well. I mean, actually, no, because, um... Because we don't know anything about, like, the knife falling out. I don't know why the knife was there. This belongs to the witness. Because I don't think, I'm pretty sure it doesn't belong to uh, Plum. I think it's imp I think it might be important later on that um that this river here is five yards. Uh because of uh because of the witness's escape route. Actually no, cause the cause the killer left the scene. It might be, but it's interesting that, like, they mention that this river is five yards.
What's also strange to me is that on this mirror, um, they said that it smacked a telephone pole, but it seems like on this mirror there's like a singular point of impact, because all of the cracks, if you notice, they all stem from here. And if you see how, like, the, the mirror, like, curves inwards, a telephone pole wouldn't do this. Actually, wait, I'm looking at this wrong. It's basically what would have happened. No, it was... Hold on. Making sure I get this right it was on this side of the car. What the fuck? Did I just break the model? What's strange about this is that it was on it was on the side of the car that it would be facing like this, right? But then I thought the mirrors normally face down. No, I'm stupid. Hold on. Let me look up side view mirrors. Okay, yeah, I'm just stupid. Uh, yeah, so a side view mirror would be facing up like this. So I'm assuming what happened with the side view mirror is that it smacked the telephone pole, went flying, and it smacked on like a rock or something on the ground nearby. Then someone picked it up and threw it in the trash. Like it would have had to land like on the ground like this sort of thing. Scatter, scatter, scatter. <laughs> funny if they were actually using this to conceal cocaine. Welcome back, I'll present the evidence that I'm pretty sure is here. As soon as I see you moving again. Welcome back. Oh, you still waiting haven't gotten your past here. To in. Yeah, I was waiting for you. Oh. Wait a second. Another misleading request. Yet you're so beholden to your mode of discourse, you can't see how it affects you. Oh, come again? A second, you say? A second? Oh, shut up, Stickler. Are we intended to wait just that? A single second? Or one sixteenth of a minute? Sixtieth of a minute? That's hardly enough time to draw a breath, let alone make a statement in court. Now, had you asked for a longer period of time, say three minutes, thirty-five seconds, then... Mr. Justice. Yes, Your Honor? Am I to understand that you are objecting to the... 
Am I to understand that you are objecting objecting to the length of a second? Yes, I mean, no. Here, just look at the pistol. Wesley is so dumb, he's even flustering Apollo. <laughs> it doesn't have a single fingerprint on it. Wait, but why would one own a gun? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Ah, a common ploy made all the more common, I fear, by the prevalence of television. Criminals these days are loath to leave fingerprints. Wait, but you said the killer tossed the gun and ran. That's right! He didn't have time to wipe the gun for prints. Oh, that's a haunting sprite. Ah, uh, it's bad. Ah, uh, the little girl sticking to it. Universe... Uh, the little girl sticking it to the university student. There's a song in there. It's not one I want to listen to. I'm not little! I mean, you so are, though. Small child. Then let's think like adults, shall we, Fraulein? Huh? What if the killer, the defendant, was wearing gloves? Gotta admit, I didn't think of that, Apollo. Well, Mr. Justice, could the killer have been wearing gloves? Let me see if I have evidence for that. No, he couldn't. I was gonna say, it shouldn't take you that long. The record of the murder weapon is very clear about one thing. The fingerprints were white, which means some trace of the prints remain, which contradicts your testimony. If everything happened as you say it did, he wouldn't have had time to wipe the pistol. There's also other evidence for that. Yeah. That may be, but it does not change what I saw. The killer, the defendant. He threw the murderous weapon from his hand and fled. Oh, I fucking hate that picture. <laughs> and this pistol was found at the scene of the crime. Strongly suggesting that this was the weapon he disposed of. That sounds solid to me. Well, Air Forehead, any of your precious objections? Fuck, I love him. What gives, Apollo? Let's see that voice training you go to work. You know, I've only recently realized something. No matter how much you train your voice, it doesn't matter if you have nothing to say. What do you mean, nothing to say? Isn't it obvious from what the witness just said? Damn, Trucy being a better lawyer than Apollo right now. I know, right? Isn't what obvious? When he restated what he saw just now, he said he saw Walkie drop a murderous weapon. But that's not the same as being 100% sure of what Walkie threw away. You're right. Why was she talking for that line? She, he's just confused because a pistol was found at the scene. Poor Mr. Stickler. It must be hard to be so perfect and yet so wrong. Well, it can be said that I'm quite offended. While it is indeed true that once in my youth I wrote a love letter in my own blood that was seized by the teacher and posted on the blackboard for all to see, and for this appellation poor might be prefixed my name yet as the issue at ha- He did something wrong once. Just egregiously wrong once. I didn't read that <laughs> what the judge was saying. It's in There's history. Of anything to say about this? Oh. Well, if what he threw away wasn't a pistol, 
What we can say for certain is that the witness, uh, is the, that the witness saw the killer throw something. Then it had to be something else. At least one person on the defense team seems to be thinking. Shots fired! I'll wipe that smile off your pretty face, Gavin. I ship it. Apollo admits he's pretty. Oh yeah, everyone admits he's the prettiest boy. Ah, I'm so happy he's here. The moment his song plays again, I'm going to be so distracted dancing. Perhaps you can inform the court as to the nature of this something else. What did the killer throw away before fleeing the sea? <sighs> oh, and to present that. Is that a sword? I saw one of those on the late night movie last night. There was a samurai and... Great, a sleep deprived judge. This knife was found at the scene of the crime with the defendant's prints on it. His prints? The single piece of, evi the single piece of evidence proves two important things. One, that what the defendant threw down wasn't a pistol. Two, that the defendant wasn't wearing gloves. Hmm, indeed. Oh, a forehead. You're forgetting two other things you've just proven. Huh? Boy, One, boy. that the man the witness saw was the defendant, Mr. Waki Kitaki. Two, that the defendant was holding a knife with the intent of harming the victim. This is boyfriend material right here. Ah! Hmm, indeed. Uh, never underestimate Gavin is the lesson here. <gasps> this court is of the opinion that the witness is fond of making assumptions. Speaking of assumptions, my assumption here is that the killer was wearing gloves uh, and used the knife to uh, frame Waki. I think that um, I think that the killer probably had uh, had an interaction with sorry had an interaction with Waki. Altercation is the word I was looking for. Had an altercation with Waki and um, like took Waki's knife during that. Had Waki run away because he. Because we know that he's prone to do that, but he was, but the killer was wearing gloves, uh, and used the, and used the knife as like, a thing that he was trying to use to frame Walkie by having a knife at the scene. Okay, okay. This court is of the opinion that our witness is fond of making assumptions. In that light, I believe it would behoove us to hear about what really occurred. With less assuming, please. Oh, Jesus. It is always the same with you people. Mark left on the house on foot, and five minutes later, his brother left after him. How long would it take for Mark's brother to catch up to him? Assuming that Mark never had to stop for a traffic light. Assuming. Yes, that's what I said. Assuming. As if that were a probable situation at all. Yet here you are assuming that my assumption is no better. <clears throat> what does this court what this court assumes is that the witness will testify as to what happened after the shot was fired I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene nor could I simply leave the scene in good conscience Ergo, I used my cell phone to call the police. 
Until the police arrived at the scene ten minutes later, I saw no one else. Why didn't you chase the killer? He was, as you say, a killer. Of course I could have run him down, yet what would he have done when cornered? Sadly, it takes more than an aptitude for solving, solving quadratic equations to know that. It's really not that hard to solve the quadratic equation. It's negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. Hmm. The testimony earlier not proved the defendant's presence at the scene. And do we not also know that there was no one else there? Fucking nerd. I only know that because of that stupid boy in a band song from like two million years ago. It's connected to music. Clover has an alibi. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the fact that I think I might still have that song completely memorized. It seems clear that we have our killer. Does it not? Does it not, Mr. Justice? Better find a way to take this testimony down quick. I could not prevent the killer from leaving the scene. Oh. You did not oh, cross me. You should press me on everything. <laughs> and then Discord crashed. Oh. No, it's fine. I'm good. <laughs> Okay. Which way did the killer run? By that time, it was clear the killer had noticed me. Eventually, he ran in the opposite direction. That would mean he ran in the opposite direction from the Kitaki Mansion. Akhtung, don't get me thinking. Don't even think about pointing out that he was going away from his home. All he had to do was loot back once he was out of sight. Uh, how did he know where that's where I was going? Trucy is just silently judging him. Nor could I simply leave the scene in good conscience. Hold it! Eh, itchy! You were certainly composed for someone who had just witnessed a killing. Devote one's life to the pursuit of science. One must never flinch at the sight of a little blood. Nor be so moved by a chemical discovery that one drops one's flask on the lab room floor. Oh, cool answer. Very cool. Thanks, Kanye. Very cool. Hmm, so nothing strange in about nothing strange about how he acted. Trucy looks like she has something to say. Ergo, I used my cell phone to call the police. Hold it! Wasn't your first thought to call an ambulance? It can be said that I have dabbled in medicine. The injury I witnessed, namely a single shot to the head, tends to result in death. Ergo, there was no need for me to call an ambulance. Oh, a perfect sim syllogism. Syllogism? It's not that. I hope that's not a hard G. Uh, a proof of. In three parts, it's exquisite, simply exquisite. He actually looks like he's gonna cry. Trucy's just like <laughs> Trucy's like you when you're trying to like trying so hard not to spoil the game. <laughs> <laughs> police arrived at the scene ten minutes later, I saw someone else. Hold it! 
Can you tell us in detail about these ten minutes? I stood in a state of heightened awareness. Anything could have happened at any moment. Anyone could appear from any direction. Is that all? No one came. Nothing happened at all. I saw it all, which is to say, I saw nothing. It was late at night. Was it not odd to think there would... It's not odd to think there would be few people around in the park. So he just stood there watching. Hmm, not much to go on there. Trucy, if you've got something to say, by all means, say it. Uh, I can't find a single problem with that testimony. Had enough at last, Air Forehead? Maybe it's time to back off a bit. No. Never. The defense still has some questions that demand answers, Your Honor. Hmm, your opinion, Prosecutor Gavin. Oh, let him play attorney until he's satisfied, I say. Dick, I love you. I will amuse myself by composing my next smash hit in my head. Oh, fuck yes. I want to listen to more of his music. We only know two of his songs, and it makes me so sad. Are they on YouTube or Spotify? Well, one of them is his theme, and it's called Guilty Love, and the only lyrics are in Japanese. And the other one is in the game, but doesn't have actual singing to it. Hmm. And, like, we know the title of a couple others, but we've never heard them. We've only ever heard two of them. Very well, you may continue with the cross-examination. This seems like the kind of cell phone that he would have. Kind of does. Having yeah. this antique, having this antique ass pocket watch. I'm gonna double check everything else first. Okay, so June 14 is the day of the family checkup. So, family checkup happened, and then the doctor died at the same time uh, between 10 and 10.45 p.m. So you can assume that he was shot between 10 and 10.45 p.m. Uh, it doesn't say the time on here, but I'm assuming it's sometime in the morning. The only way that I can be confident in presenting this is if I can prove that this is his cell phone. Which, like, I only have, uh, I only have my own assumptions to figure with that. Can I scan this for fingerprints? No, you need Emma to be there. Um, the game is unclear about this. I'm pretty sure you have to give up because I think Trucy's trying to give you a tutorial. I don't remember. Oh, okay. I do not remember, though, so don't take my word for it if you think you can find a better thing. I, you might have to go through pressing them again. I don't remember. 
I'm honestly, I'm about to fall asleep. I'm so tired. I don't know what's going on. Present the cell phone and see. Nah. And I didn't save before that option there. Wait, is that the thing with the... Trying to figure out if this is the thing that um, Apollo is like trying to perceive and like pick up on someone's nervous twitches or some shit. Yeah, that's the tutorial, and that's why I think you have to press his shit again because I think that's how you triggered it. I don't remember, dude. I'm. Uh -huh. oh, I want to finish this fucking testimony. Isn't anything I'm left to let unravel in this testimony after all. Some of us have glamorous careers we like to think back. Uh, some of us have glamorous careers we like to think. Ah. Third try. Some of us have glamorous careers we love to get back to this month, Air Forehead. They don't have enough to put Walkie away yet. Should I back off now? Nothing fishy about that testimony at all. But it appears there are no objections to the witness's current testimony. There are a number of ways to explain the lack of prints on this pistol, I assure you. Perhaps the killer really was wearing gloves, which wiped the previous user's prints off. Then, after the deed was done, this fell out of his pockets as he was throwing the gun away. A mistake befitting of a small-time punk, in my opinion. No. No! <laughs> what the fuck is that face there? I don't know, I love it though. It seems we've come to the end of the line here. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, that can't be all. How unfortunate. Seems that you weren't cut out to stand on the same stage as me anyway. Were you, Air Forehead? Were you, Air Forehead? I believe this brings the cross-examination to a close. This court will now declare a verdict for the defendant, Walkie Kitaki. Juicy. Nobody move. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? There will be no verdict in this court. Not yet. Wait, are you one of the Katakis? The Katakis? You mean the notorious gangsters? If you don't want to see me give this pretty little girl a new smile, do as I say. Adjourn this court for 20 minutes. What? This court will not bow to pressure from the likes of... A judge. I see little point of further aggravating this gentleman. 
<clears throat> Recess! 20 minutes or I promise you you'll regret it! Wait, how do you disappear so fast? Teleportation technique. Come to the defendant lobby, Apollo! I suppose I'll have no choice but to adjourn for a 20-minute recess. Bailiff, catch that mysterious man! I'm about to fucking collapse. <laughs> Good thing the to be continued happens right here. I was gonna right say, here, I'm glad. <laughs> you don't get to know who did that to Trucy. In before it was Larry. Um, Watch that be plum. I would lose it. <laughs> Here's the best part is I know who did that to Trucy, and I can't tell you <laughs> until next week. All right. Uh, next stream. Love that. Will be Sunday. We'll probably finish up Paradise Killer. Because I'm pretty sure Are I have. Are you guys close to the end? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have everything except for like one and... piece of evidence. And even then, I'm pretty sure I know who did what. And even if I don't, I'm going to accuse the people I want to accuse because I hate Yuri that much. Um. <laughs> So yeah, next stream will Yuri be... Yuri take the fall for it. Fuck yeah, fuck Yuri. Uh, next stream will be Sunday, and we'll be doing... We'll be finishing up Paradise Killer, and then we can either start doing Ace Attorney both Thursdays and Sundays, or I can start a different game on Sundays. I think it's good to switch it up every now and then. Yeah. I'd do Tyrion, but I don't want to do two Ace Attorney games at once. The uh, the other option is um, fuck. What's it called? Tangle Tower. That's true. It's also more of an open investigation game as opposed to the courtroom style. I might. I have a bunch of stuff in here. I know I want to play fucking Persona, and like I might do the th third Thief game. That's true. We haven't done Stardew in a while. That is true. We could do a Stardew Sunday. I'd be super down for that. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm so excited now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be d Yeah, I'm down. Speaking of Stardew, did the 1.5 update come out? No. Aw. Aw. Okay, I have... Disappointing. I have to end the stream so I can sleep. Because <laughs> I'm gonna die. Alright. Uh, Bye, guys. Next stream Tell will us. be Sunday. Tell us the sturdy thing in uh, general chat night. Yeah. I'll see y'all Sunday. Bye! Bye!